Hey, welcome back to It's 5 O'Clock Somewhere, presented by Cocktails for Closers. My name's George. I'm Will. And Will, where are we today? Today, we are at Chiringo's in Grayton Beach. It's a really cool local spot. It's uh, got a great restaurant and bar. Lots of locals hang out here. Kind of what it's known for in Grayton Beach is being that last local hangout. Yeah. And it's a, it's a great mix for coming to hang out and see people you know. So George, what do you think about this place? I'd say it looks like a surf shop threw up into a bar. <laughs> but cool decor, everything you said was right, man, I love it. Yes, it has the upstairs and downstairs. It actually has a great merch shop. I know that some people might think it's corny, but you know, we're on that famous street over there, the Huts, Hot and I love those shirts. I love Huts girls. They do a great job here. The outdoor area is phenomenal. Yeah, they've got games for the whole family to come out and play. For sure. Great outdoor space. It's very casual, like just walk up off the beach in your bathing suit. You know, or you can come in for dinner and be a little more yeah. dressed up. I mean, it, it suits everybody. And it has a great nightlife. We've been here multiple times at night. Oh, yeah. You come in, you have a great time. Everybody's here in town. They do karaoke. They have a DJ. Yeah. Uh, during different nights of the week. So it's a, it's a fun spot to be, whether you're coming in for lunch or you're staying through the late night. Great food, too. And the, the one thing we didn't mention as well, you're going to take 30 steps that way. You can bar hop all night. You could go to Red Bar for a little bit, come back here, go back and forth. It's just, can't say enough about this place. Yeah. But let's not waste any more time. Today we got two a piece off the specialty menu. This is something they take pride in here in Chiringos. But Will, what's your first uh, specialty drink? What are you having? Yeah, first what I'm gonna do is their bourbon smash. It's got Four Roses bourbon, a little honey, uh, mint, a little um, lemon in it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna test this out. It's got, looks great. Uh, love the froth on top. Oh, 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 that's good. The honey and the lemon really come through, help that, give it a really smooth finish. I love it. Mixed with the four roses. You know, I'm actually probably gonna give that like a, like a 8.3. Whoa. I mean, that's- We're in the eights that club. Is, so you're in a the eights club, that is smooth. <laughs> I awesome. mean, it, it's also maybe a little dangerous. I could I could get in trouble with a couple of those. I'm gonna go with the sandwich. Tito's grapefruit and uh, fresca. Nice. So let's give, it a, really let's give it a run. Oh, that's a good one. The grapefruit for me is a little stronger, but if you love grapefruit, this is a great drink. The fresca kind of balances it out. I see myself driving a golf cart where you should not be driving after about three or four of these. <laughs> and I'm kidding, don't drink and drive with them. But you're right, another dangerous one. You're back at the clubhouse having a few of these. This is gonna be not a grapefruit. It's too strong for me with that flavor. Uh, I'm gonna go 7.7. .7. Fantastic drink though. Like if you like a grapefruit, yeah. that's an eight all day long. I mean, just imagine being able to walk up off the beach, oh, come yeah. grab you a little cocktail, go back down. Be a great day. And we'll show you more pictures later, but the beach is right there. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Sitting up here, we actually have a view. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna do one of their local favorites. It's a great rum drink. <laughs> so it's got a little Campesina Silver X, uh, Falernum. I'll learn them. It's a tough one to say, y'all. <laughs> Pineapple, triple sec, lime. So this is a local's favorite. We're gonna give it a nice try here. Got a little mint leaf in there too. Man, I'm excited to hear what it's all about. All right. <laughs> Tastes really good. I'm not the biggest rum drinker. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's pretty smooth. I, I would say maybe like a 7.8. Wow, that's strong for you, right? You're not a rum guy. Well, I'm excited. I've been waiting for this one. This is the Billy Ocean. And you love a frozen yeah. cocktail. Frozen, you throw me in a pool, there's a football on a screen. I'm out there for 12 hours, my wife's <laughs> yelling at me. I look like a prune. The one thing I know, it's definitely frozen. It's got a Captain Morgan's pineapple, I wanna say ginger, yeah. mango, and it's topped with the Meyer's dark rum. Nice. So, here we go. Uh, William. We're gonna travel on. Yeah, this, now this is this is one. This is two or three deep. For some reason, everything's a little bit darker because you're starting to get tunnel vision. <laughs> Feeling a little too good. I'm gonna go. Man, they do a great job with the mixes here. This isn't just thrown in there in our yeah. frozen machine. And they and they're known for using fresh squeezed um, juices, yeah. making like really good cocktails. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 8.6. Wow, this is a home run. Like. You come to Churingos, this is the first drink you start with. Okay. This is fantastic. So let's raise these drinks. Let's get out of here. As always, we yeah. have a great time. Definitely see you at the next a, one. Definitely a must-see spot. Absolutely.